The mind is king of heaven and earth. The mind is king of heaven and earth. Invite a Greek to speak, you get philosophy. <laughs> What did you expect? It is literally in our DNA. Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, Anaxagoras, and some women too. Hypatia, Hypatia, Themista, Phyllis, Asara. The clue is in my name, that I am Greek. Elizabeth, not so much, but Philippouli means the friend of horses. Philos for friend, horse for hippos. Today, this evening, in this beautiful building, Stormont, with its beautiful Greek-inspired, Greek-inspired architecture, we are going to talk about bridges and some horses too. What is a bridge? Is it a connection, a communication, a transition, a transformation, an exit? Is it a symbol? What is a bridge? A symbol, a monument, the Parthenon, the greatest monument in the city of the classical Greece, Athens, one of the greatest monuments in the history of humanity. A symbol, a bridge, connecting the Athenians to their values, their civilization, their thinking, connecting the Athenians to their gods and the divine. The Parthenon was a temple, the temple of goddess Athena, the goddess of wisdom, and it was a bridge between aspiration and actuality, between what we are and what we want to become. And isn't this really what we are concerned about from our childhood? What are we? What is the bridge to the future? What is the bridge for our future? What are we going to become? In my childhood, I was lucky. My parents were, had a liberal mind, and they were encouraging me, they were urging me to do whatever I wanted in life. There, there was never a weak gender, strong gender issue, never. They said, Elizabeth, whatever you want to be, whatever you want to become in life, you can go for it. A teacher, a thinker, an entrepreneur, prime minister, Be genuine, be passionate, and do your best. And this is going to take you far. I decided to become a journalist. It was in the family. It was in the DNA. I covered stories. I traveled the world. I met people. I was a storyteller. But I was not sure that this was really my bridge to what I wanted to become. I had a great career, first with Greek media, I was a main anchor for Greek TV, then I worked with CNN, Al Jazeera, an international career. But I had not found my bridge. I thought that no matter how many stories you tell, it is only a one-way street. It's not a communication, it's not a bridge. And what we need to do is help people transform to the better by creating dialogue, creating debates, make them communicate. I thought perhaps I should become a bridge. But how do you do that, right? How do you become a bridge? Perhaps I could become, I thought, an intellectual bridge, a philosophical bridge, linking people, minds, ideas, hopes, aspirations, values, And this is what I did, bridges of the mind. And this is what my foundation does. And I found my bridge in life. As women, we always come across bridges. We are always forced to cross bridges, from young age to old age, from knowledge to wisdom. 
from what we are to what we want to become, from happiness to grief, and if we are lucky, back again. We are always forced across bridges. When we get stigmatized, traumatized, marginalized, we get abandoned on bridges. We are being left behind very often. But we also leave behind on bridges. We abandon. We are a bridge by nature. Our bodies are a bridge. Our bodies connect humanity to its future. We give birth to life. When we talk about the bridge, it's because there is a gap there. There is a rift. There is distance, discontinuity. Gap. Social gap, inequality. An emotional gap, insecurity. A political gap, incompetent leadership. Gender gap. Who's stronger, faster, wiser, more powerful? Does it matter, really? Does it matter? There's an idea out there, and it's been out there for a long time, because it's powerful, it's tempting, it's insidious, it's wrong, and it's this. Are women guided more by emotion and the power of love? Are men guided more by reason and the love of power? Emotion, reason, reason, emotion, the love of power, the power of love. Is it a clash of mindsets, of ideas, entire systems, societies, ideologies? Is socialism female and capitalism male? Is technology male and philanthropy female? Where do genders stand? Women from Venus, men from Mars, what a cliché. Whatever we are, woman, man, or the third sex, whatever we are in life, whatever we choose to be or we choose to do, above all, we need to acknowledge that there is a lot going on out there in our world which does not seem right. Brexit, Catalonia and Spain, inequality, poverty, a crumbling Eurozone. Socialism doesn't work. Capitalism doesn't work. Democracy doesn't work. Bring people together. Ban people we do not like. What is this? Where is reason? Where is emotion? Emotion is great. It makes us feel human. But it is not enough. It's too emotional, too sentimental, too simplistic, unrealistic, inconsistent. Reason is excellent. It makes us feel smart, powerful, but it misses out on many things. Kindness, fairness, respect, empathy, compassion. Where is the balance? between the two. Emotion is the bridge between knowledge and wisdom. And I would like to introduce to you a word which you probably never heard before, unless you've studied Greek. The word nous. Nous. Not new for French, but nous. Which is another word for mind, a word introduced by those ancient Greek philosophers 2,000 years ago. It's a bridge. Nuts is a bridge between the heart, the soul, and the intellect. It is what connects us to our common sense, to our accurate judgment, is what makes us understand and distinguish between what is false and what is true, what is real and what is unreal. To those Greek philosophers back then, it was our connection to the divine, 
to the cosmic order. This is the balance that I'm going to urge all of us to find. Women or men, we need to connect with our news because it's going to be how we are going to influence what's happening in our world. It is the choice between reason and emotion and the balance between those two. As women, for the first time in history, for the first time in humanity, we are crossing our own bridges in millions. We are achieving a lot. We're speaking up, we're finding our voice, finding our purpose. We are pushing back, we are claiming, we are demanding, we are challenging, we are networking, we are succeeding. It is up to us to connect to our news and understand what bridges out there we need to burn, what bridges out there we need to bring down because they are dysfunctional, or they are fragile, or they lead us to the wrong direction, or they lead nowhere. As women, we need to find the bridges, the bridges of shame, and bring them down. Bring them down and never allow the Weinsteins of this world to get into our lives. We need to burn the bridges of shame and shame those who deserve it. No, you shall not pass. When you leave today, I would like you to remember this word, the word noose, and visit the bridges in your life. Visit how you can become a bridge, how you can connect yourself to a mission that speaks to your heart, to a mission that is going to make this world a better place. Think of the bridges that you are going to burn and let them light the way ahead. Connect to your noose and change your life. Connect to your noose and you can change the world. Build bridges that are strong, and then get on your horse and gallop across them. Thank you.